This room is clean and well kept. What a contrast to the filth throughout the rest of the fair. I know this book. The Dynamics of an Asteroid. It is the reference book written by Moriarty. I must be in his bedroom. That... that could be useful. A magnificent hunting rifle. This glass cabinet is locked, but I should be able to force the lock. This chest is the same as Ferguson the Magician's. I can't do that. A doll. It is new. It was bought recently. The Funfair's Act of Transfer, signed by that poor Ferguson. Moriarty didn't spare him, anyway. This pin could be useful. A magnificent hunting rifle. This glass cabinet is locked, but I should be able to force the lock. This weapon is unusable. The hammer is missing. One can never be too careful. Here is everything to take care of this magnificent rifle. This place has been fitted out as a command center and as living quarters for Moriarty. Very well. Everything will be done as you wish. Above all, don't get impatient. I'll do the necessary. Moriarty is here. Apparently he is very busy. And this is curious. He seems to be obeying his interlocutor. Moriarty is a hired hand. These shelves seem solid. Wooden skeleton. Nice element of decor. These partitions are on pivots. At the bottom, there appears to be a set of cogs upon which a wheel is fixed. It is rusty. If I turn the wheel, it is possible that the mechanism's squeaking will alert Moriarty. There are wooden partitions, rather thick and very heavy. They must have moved around to disorientate visitors back when this attraction was in operation. There are wooden partitions.
Hmm. It would be better not to go down there. I need something. Another bell ringing in the warehouse. That is not a good sign. Let's hurry. The shutters are closed. That is good. No one will see me. Ah, here is the famous telephone. South London Exchange, what number do you want? 1313, Scotland Yard. Please hurry. One moment. Lestrade here. It's Sherlock Holmes. Holmes, you're alive! An excellent deduction, Lestrade. Now listen to me carefully, I'll get straight to the point. Moriarty has had four bombs placed around London, all of which could go off at any moment. You absolutely must find them and defuse them. How can I believe what you say? You are being hunted by all the police in the kingdom. They were looking for me, yes, but not any longer. You called off the search when my death was announced. Logically, why would I call you if I was not innocent? You must begin the search for those bombs straight away. That's true enough. So where are the bombs? Buckingham Palace, the House of Commons, the Bank of England. And as for the last one, it is entirely possible that you are sitting on it. Scotland Yard? Yes. Mobilise all your men and find them, but don't touch them without the defusing instructions. Luckily, those locations are already under heavy police guard. What are the defusing instructions? Now, I don't have the details at present, but Watson is working on it. Stay near the telephone. I'll call you back the instant we find out. Curious. I can hear something tapping at regular intervals against the shutters. Watson? I think I know what we must do in order to defuse the bombs, Holmes. Good work, Watson. Yes. Well, no, not really, because the bomb I have with me, the... Ah, I think I understand. How do you always manage to get yourself into these situations? I didn't really have any choice in the matter. It's primed, isn't it? I'm afraid so, and I need you to stop it. Perfect. We need to go to the merry-go-round. Can you bring the telephone with you? Well, I hope you know what you are doing. You'll understand when you see the control panel installed under the merry-go-round. But please hurry, I really would like to get rid of this infernal device. On the contrary, we must keep a careful hold of it. We are going to use it to destroy the warehouse where the soup is made. Step aside. I'm going to jump. 
quite simply, Holmes, the bombs all have a switch that allows them to be defused. But it's not as simple as that, is it? No, of course not. The bombs are also linked up with the merry-go-round's antenna by a radio frequency. And that wavelength is a security to stop the switches on the bombs from operating. Therefore, they must be disconnected from the merry-go-round. But that's not all. If no one switches them off, they will explode anyway. So that is why you need the telephone. We need to call Lestrade to tell him when to turn off the switches. Well done, Holmes. You have understood. You are reversing the roles, Watson. Highly amusing. <laughs> well, we can laugh about it later, but now we must hurry. First of all, we must plug in the telephone. First of all, we must plug in the telephone. Perfect. Buckingham has been switched off. Scotland Yard has been switched off. Parliament has been switched off. The Bank of England has been switched off. That's it, Holmes. The bombs are disconnected. You can use the switches now. Let's hide, Holmes. The bombs were due to explode five minutes ago. You, go and get the anarchists and take them to the warehouse. Stay there. I'm going to the warehouse to check on the soup. Let's get out of here. Holmes, where are we going? Watson, what do you intend to do with that primed bomb at your feet? My God, there's not much time left. It would certainly be more useful elsewhere. Come, let us go, and let us try not to ruin the last chance we may have to save London. The guards have deserted the door. Now's our chance. Holmes, I don't think that I told you about this siren. No, but I can guess that it carries some connection with the poison soup. Without going into too much detail, the next time that it sounds, the carts will leave to stock up Prince Woodville's network throughout London. And it will be impossible to prevent the population from being poisoned. We must hurry. Moriarty's men are looking for us. The soup production is nearly finished, and I am carrying a prime bomb in my hands. Quick, jump into the cable car. Uh-oh. There I are! Hey! Hey! 
They've seen us. There they are, boss. In the cable car. The esteemed Sherlock Holmes. Back among the living. I am afraid that your resurrection can only be a temporary one at best. Have we ever been in such a perilous situation before? Very rarely, I must admit. Well, gentlemen, what are you waiting for? Are you afraid, Holmes? <laughs> The bomb is on the point of exploding. Moriarty's men can't shoot us like rabbits or restart the cable car and catch us on the warehouse roof. We are trapped. Moriarty wants us alive. That much is evident. So let us take advantage of the few minutes we have left. The lever is stuck. I understand, Holmes. Fine. Leave everything. If we don't find a way to get back, we are going to die, Holmes. Search, Watson. I need some. What are you doing, Holmes? The manual emergency system is behind this trap door. It works. We are safe here. Yes, there are only a few seconds left before... My God, what a shock! Moriarty! He was in the warehouse! This time, it's over, Holmes. The mysterious person whom Moriarty appears to obey. Whoever could be powerful enough to command Moriarty? The doors are wide open. Perhaps we are too late. I don't think so. <laughs> 